So hello students and I am back. I am Sarim Khan studying in 5th standard and today we are going to enjoy Newton's first law of motion. Today we have the topic Newton's first law of motion we all have heard about. As we know in our earlier classes such as in 9th classes, Newton's first law of motion was introduced to us but in very small amount. So today in little more detail we will study about Newton's first law of motion and try to enjoy it more and more. So now let us begin. So first law of motion, motion, it is an important law in physics, okay, and it is one of the most important law in physics, okay, so as we know each law has its own statement, what is the statement, okay, of Newton's first law of motion, first let me tell you this Newton's first law of motion is also known as Newtonian mechanics or law of inertia, so it's the sp statement is that if we have the sum of all forces acting over any particle okay if that sum of all forces on that particle is zero then the acceleration okay which is a of that particle that is also zero just like one example we can take or if it is it is not equals to zero same case we have then this is also not equals to zero okay let us take one example here we have any block of mass m kept over any surface this we have any block of mass m kept over any surface now here at time zero seconds we have this block of mass m at this position and at time t seconds imagine this block is present here at this position so we can say that it had a motion in just straight in this direction it had a motion now let the initial velocity be u okay u and final b v but how it came in motion first it was in rest so it may okay it needs to get any external force so let that be f external so here we have f external now then here f external will act in this direction then the motion will be in this direction but whatever f external do without acceleration f external our external force cannot bring this from rest to motion so let the acceleration be a in this direction and if it is equals to zero then it cannot bring in this direction okay its motion in this direction so it is where a is not equals to zero now here sum of all forces we need to find Find all forces f external is in this direction down its weight is that is mg it just upward direction it is normal normal contact force denoted by n okay that is applied perpendicularly only sum of all forces let that be f which is equals to f external f external plus our weight of the um, object mg plus our normal contact force this we have f okay total f means sum of all forces acting on this particle or this object of mass m okay its value equals to f external external force plus our mg means weight of this block plus normal contact force which is applied perpendicularly upward now here we can see next we can see okay so it should not be equals to zero because so many forces positive forces we are adding so it should not be equals to zero okay okay because its sum is not equals to zero then f is also not equals to okay also not equals to zero and a what we have a is not equals to zero because if a equals to zero then what we can see that this external force cannot bring this from here to here because already it was in rest position and to bring it in motion position it needs to give it an acceleration which is not equals to zero so a is also not equals to zero this we have f not equals to zero a not equals to zero so by this our newton's first law of motion is getting proved because whenever f is not equals to zero for sum of all forces not equals to zero acceleration is not equals to zero and when it equals to zero then it is also equals to zero this we have but if we take a different case okay just like if we have here any marker we put this marker here okay we put this marker here now what are the total forces acting on this marker just like let total okay total forces let that be f okay which is equals to weight of marker in downward direction mg plus normal contact force perpendicularly in upward direction and any in other external forces not and mg plus n is not equals to zero okay we are adding them is not equals to zero then f is also not equals to zero 
this we have then f is not equal to 0 let us take is there any acceleration of marker we can see here there is no acceleration of marker okay it just like it is in rest position okay it just it is in rest position just it moved no why because there is no acceleration so acceleration okay here we can see okay acceleration equals to zero so here we can say that f equals to uh, not equals to zero a equals to zero so how newton's post loop motion can be proved by this because if it states if f states if f is equals to zero a equals to zero only then and if f is not equals to zero then it is sure that a will be not equals to zero so how can newton's post loop motion be proved so by this what we are getting that a is it a wrong law but why do physicists use a wrong law so much why do we study a wrong law because the method of using this law is wrong at present time why because by this we are understanding concept of frame of references we have frame of reference what is the frame of reference it is that frame okay it is that uh, proposition okay we can say through which we justify look over any particle and justify about its rest or, or motion position so here we can see our frame of reference was ground through ground we were seeing we were seeing to this marker here also it was ground so it depends upon the frame of reference there are two kind of frame of reference inertial frame of reference inertial frame of reference okay inertial frame of reference later second is non inertial frame of reference inertial frame of reference is that frame of reference okay in which newton's first law of motion is valid and non inertial is in which it is not valid just like this uh, this we had seen that in this it was valid it was getting to be proved that f is not equals to 0 but a then a is also not equals to 0 so this is inertial frame which this situation we have so this is of inertial frame this we can write inertial frame but which second situation of marker we had seen means this situation where f is not equals to 0 but even then a equals to 0 so this is our non inertial frame because here our newton's second sorry first law of motion is not getting proved okay so this kind of frame of reference is non-inertial frame of reference so whenever we look over any situation first we have to decide whether we are seeing through inertial frame of reference or non-inertial frame of reference we can decide whether it is inertial frame of or non-inertial frame if newton's first law of motion will be valid there we can say it is inertial but if not if we cannot use newton's first law of motion rightly correctly at that time so it is non-inertial frame. So this was my today's topic. Thank you.